Today, you are about to experience one of the biggest breakthroughs in lighting technology in the history of mankind. You see, I used to think that LED lamps were wonderful, low energy, cold to the touch, and last for hundreds of thousands of hours. But then I went online and I discovered that these things put out dirty electricity, they put out 5Gs, and worst of all, they put out special blue light beams that stop you sleeping at night. And I have to say that since I discovered that, I have lost a lot of sleep. I have not been sleeping at all. So then I thought, perhaps we can do something about this. Perhaps I could develop an organic alternative to LED technology based on cheese. So join me as we go to my workshop and we work on entirely new cheese-based lighting technology. To begin the project, I selected a cheese that I felt would be optimal for fitting into a lamp holder. In this case, I chose a baby bell. I started by measuring the baby bell, having removed it from its wax coating. I felt it was better to remove the wax coating because otherwise the light that comes off the cheese may be filtered and look all red and diffused. So I took the cheese out and I measured it with a set of digital calipers. Let me demonstrate. One set of digital calipers. The cheese has a diameter of approximately 40 millimetres. And it has a thickness of approximately 18 millimetres. So I sized a 3D printed holder to match. I'll just pop that away. The design is such that it's got a base that will fit into an existing lamp base. In this uh, application, I'm using a bayonet cap holder because I am in Britain and this is our most popular holder. But obviously, if this is a success, then the other options are to have an Edison screw cheese to fit into Edison screw lamp holders. It was designed in open SCAD, and it's got the base itself, and it's got a cheese support inside. It's got moulded in pillars, and it's got a support plate for the electrodes to protrude through. Let's take that out of the way and brighten the image up. Brighter. So the first thing I'm going to do is try the cheese for size. It sits in nicely. I would say that is absolutely perfect. That's ideal. So the first step is to attach the base onto the cheese retainer. And I'm going to do that with two part resin. So I've got a pot to stir the resin. I've got a stirrer for the resin. And I've got the resin. When you're using resin like this, it helps to use a wooden stirrer. This is one I stole from the local coffee shop, Conrad's in Ramsey. Let's just squirt some resin out into here and attach the lamp base to the cheese retainer. So I'll mix up the glue like this. And once it's thoroughly mixed, I'll smear some on the base and then I shall put the cap on. And once I've done that, we'll let it cure and then I'll come back and we can fit the cheese electrodes into it. I've taken the liberty of pre-terminating the copper cheese electrodes already into the lamp base. I thought it would save some time. So that's the resin mixed up with the stolen coffee stirrer. Now let's simply smear a little bit of resin around here, like this. Perhaps I should have done it the other way around, but you know what? This is prototyping. I'm sure that Edison didn't invent his light bulb in a day. Here we go. And we'll also put some in here as well, because you just can't have too much glue. So I'll smear some the inside of that so that it fills up all the gaps. What's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is the cheese might not light. That would be disappointing, but you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to twist it around a little bit. I'm going to line the electrodes up the way I want them to be aligned for where they come through. I'm going to remove that bit of resin because it's just rather unfortuitously ended up where I want the electrodes. Not to worry. And now that's in position, we'll pause momentarily and I'll come back once this is set. The glue has now cured and we're ready to go on to the next part of the process. 
I'm going to put in the chi support plate with the electrodes protruding through it. So I'm going to press this down and then anchor it in place with two screws. So I think that's lining up. Just going to shine a light and make sure everything is lining up just fine. That's more or less perfect. Oh, that is perfect. That's very good. Right, okay. Mm. Torch between my teeth so I can see where these screws are. I chose black. Okay. One screw going in. And the other screw going in. Now, theoretically, all I need to do is trim these electrodes down based on the size of a typical cheese. Make sure they're square. I want good cheese penetration. So I'm going to trim them just a little bit proud. Where are my pliers? My pliers are hiding my snipshots here, side cutters. I'm going to trim them about this height, about six millimeters, quarter of an inch. Proud of the channel and I'm also going to use a smaller pair of side cutters to just put a slight angle on that just so it's nice and sharp so it goes through the cheese. So I'm just going to sharpen them up by cutting off either side and just make it so it's got good cheese penetration power. Now theoretically all we need to do is put a cheese onto this and then do an electrical test and see how much light it's going to put out. There we are. So here is the test cheese. I'll just straighten that electrode up, this cheese trode. And I'm going to press the cheese on roughly about here and then press it down into the cup. That looks absolutely superb. I think that's going to be bright. I think we should go and test this now. The time has come. Are you ready to witness the breakthrough of the century? Because now it's time to say, out with the LEDs, in with the cheese. Behold, the future of lighting technology. Oh. Maybe it takes a while to warm up. Ah. Uh, I, I didn't really think this through, did I? There's probably a reason they spend hundreds of thousand hours working on LED technology and nobody else has really experimented with the cheese, but you know what? <sighs> it had to be done. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I, I've wasted everybody's time. It's just making terrible cheesy smells. I'm sorry about that. Goodbye.